I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's join the joy that is work. Except it's a party today, because it's Mega Christmas. Except it this doesn't look like a party at all. It's not a party until Birdio Galaxy 65 appears. Some of you are like super confused as to why I keep putting this stupid thing up. But trust me, it's very important. Just Google search Burrito Galaxy 65. Yes, it's important, Parker. Um, Jill, I told you to come in the nicest clothes you have. These are the nicest clothes I have. <laughs> you came in your uniform. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. These are the nicest clothes she has. Besides, you and Gil in your uniforms too. Well, I can't really show up in casual clothing. I'm being monitored. What? What about the kilt you wore that one time? I'm still surprised that one didn't break the dress code somehow. And you, Gil? I mean, it's not really... All that different from a skirt, so whatever. I don't have that many clothes to begin with. <laughs> Poor fuck boy. You people depress me. Oh well, everything's in place back here. Ah, Alma's here. You know, there was a time when people greeted others before saying stuff like that. Come on, Jill, greet her properly. Welcome to vet. Wait. <laughs> Man, if that's not a sign you need to ease up on the work, I don't know what is. Honestly. If somebody showed up my workplace and I always greet people like that, I, I I don't think I would be able to. Yeah, it's a reflex, bro. Wait, Alma also came in her usual attire. <laughs> they just didn't want to make different sprites. Uh, can't blame them though. It's a lot of work. Why don't you say anything to her? Rib sweaters get a free pass. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Silly question. Never mind. <laughs> He's got her eye on those ribbed sweater puppies over there. Jamie came earlier, too. The dogs went with him to get some ice. It better not be frozen piss tsunami ice. Don't we have ice? Trying to make the... Trying to take it out of the bartending station as a chore. It's better to just buy some outside. Huh. What are you doing out there, Alma? Setting up the food warmer. The what? I brought it here three days ago. It's amazing. It kinda looks like a set of wires, but you can create a frame with them. Put the food inside it and press a button and it warms the food up, just like a microwave. Uh, should, shouldn't you just use, like, a crock pot or something? It's an infomercial bobble, though. Really useful, but tricky to handle at the same time. One wrong move and I'll, we'll be out of food for the night. <laughs> or just a microwave. Or, ugh, everything will be scorched in a second. It seems incredibly dangerous and unnecessary. So you've bought infomercial stuff too? Haven't you? It's at the very least a good idea for gifts. I, I don't agree. Dynamic entry! Finally, at least somebody came after me. Oh, I forgot to do your voice. Is it weird they've already heard that- Wait, what? Oh my god, I hate you so much. Sigh. Oh, don't be like- Or, what was- Oh, don't be like that. She's not so saying it out of malice or something. She just found it funny. You're taking her side now? Jealous. You wish. You don't need to fight for me. I wouldn't. Ever. We're not. I'll go check the microwave wires thing. <laughs> I'm starting to get hungry. Great idea. <laughs> I know what the thumbnail is going to be for this episode. Um, can I? Yes. <laughs> oh. Ah, uh, hello, Jill. Soldier, you're late. Hey, Jay. See? It, oh, man, this this episode's gonna destroy my throat. Let's see, that's how you greet people. Actually, it's more about confusing than anything. You shut it. I'll go help out. Um, I'll go help sweater pups. <laughs> Something wrong? She's not good with dogs. Oh. All right, we're all here, so we can start. You know, Anchorage. Alma. I know what I said. How's the food doing? It's doing well, but it'll take a bit. Just speed it up. I've used these microwave things before. It's either warm nicely but slowly or burn that bitch. So, how long? 15 minutes or so. A bell will ring when the time comes. We need to kill some time then. Hmm. Alright, let's play truth or dare. I <laughs> Seems like a poor idea. I'll pass. He never asked for lies. Games are for games are for kids. I'm in. <laughs> sure, I'll play. Sounds fun. As long as that butt stays away from me. Racist. Quit being, quit being racist to the dogs. Lolibot. 
That'll make the time pass faster. I'll pat. You'll play. Sigh. Oh my god, truth or dare interface. Amazing. <laughs> this is the best. I was not expecting this. Alright, oh no, but I can't make... Um, this is obvious... Um, thingy bait. Um, thumbnail bait. But I wanted to use Jamie with the dogs. And maybe I'll just slip that into a different video. Sneaky-like. Eh. Hmm. I guess I'll have to pick this one, even though it's... I don't know. You'll see. You'll see. Alright then, the rules are simple. If you get picked, you pick either truth or dare. After you finish, you get to pick something else. Look like that and feel the food's done. What about punishment? What about punishment games? What? Those are a hassle of just issuing new questions or challenges until the person complies. That's it, Jill! Yes? You start. Pick someone. Oh, um, let's see. Definitely not lowly trash bot. Let's go with fuckboy. Okay then, Gil, what do you pick? Uh, truth. What's your last name? Dare! I picked Dare! <laughs> I knew it. Uh, why did you even pick Truth? Try to make a sugar rush with your eyes closed. Alright. Here. This is a- How? How? How do you even- The beer is three times more complex. What well, works, I think. My turn, right? Me, pick me! You, the dog. Oh, so he did pick Dorothy. <laughs> Come on! Dare! I dare you! No, I'm the one that dares you. Bring it on! Uh, sit. Sir, yes sir! Well, that was a waste. You're not sitting. Sir, yes sir! Whatever, you did it. Alright, you, the blonde, pet me. Uh, whatever. Your hands are cold. Colder than your usual hands, I guess. This is the tamest truth or dare I've ever seen. I'll go with dare. Give me a solder machine. <laughs> Okay, it's heating up. Really? Really? Okay. You're good at this. My grandpa taught me how years ago. How old were you when your grandpa died? How is that? Why would you... Whatever. 14 years or so, if memory serves right. Then he was... Sorry. I need to use a bathroom. So what did that massage do exactly? <laughs> It's a regular massage. I might have accidentally unclassed her bra. <laughs> accidentally. Felt like something snapped. Let's imagine that. Shut up, Dorothy. You have a pretty triumphant look on your face, though. Wouldn't you? I wonder. If everyone's done talking about my bra, let's move on. I wonder how long until the food is done. Um. I already did Gil, so... Let's confess our love. Alright then, Alma. I'll pick Truth. What's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to your arms? What?! You are the worst ever at this game. Everyone here is fired. This is not how you play Truth or Dare. Well, there was one time I got mugged on the street, so I, uh... Gotta throw my hand at the thief to knock him out. I think it's what you usually call a rocket punch. <laughs> what? So you didn't throw it so much it propelled itself through. The... How was that embarrassing? Oh, just so cartoony. It's a bit embarrassing. <laughs> you know, the the only single line I can remember Keith or Sutherland saying from Metal Gear Solid 5 is rocket punch. I can I can't remember a single other thing he says. It's a bit impractical, too. The hand is a startup time after reattachment. Yes, but why add such a function? Why wouldn't you add such a function? It, thank you! Well, because... Boss, well, don't tell me your arm can also. The hand of mine is awesome. My turn, then. That That is legitimately the best item in Metal Gear Solid V, by the way. Um, only the dudes in full riot gear can't be knocked out. Actually, I think, I think you can, if you hit their head, maybe? But you can knock out, once you get the range expansion for that thing, you can take out an insane, you can take out like five or six people in one charge. Um, even on like super hard or whatever missions, 
Um, it's super good. It's non-lethal. Um, it doesn't make noise somehow. I mean, it's super loud audio-wise, but the AI just ignores it completely. It's insanely good. Um, there's nothing better, in my opinion. Click Lorenzo. Gillian. Carissimo. Truth or dare? Uh, truth. How do you manage to keep that stubble of yours the same length all the time? How do I, eh? I mean, no matter when I come here, whether it's 3am or on a weekday, on the afternoon on a Sunday, y'all have to have the same three-day beard. I never get to say any longer, but you also never shave. How the hell do you do that? Well, that's a good question, really. How do I think about it? Aww. I do shave, but I use an electric razor. It's not quite low, so... You're not saying something, but whatever. Let's see. Hey, dog. Dare, dare. Then play dead. Dog. <laughs> yes, yeah, so let's. There's not much time left. I want you to know. I, I always thought you were a fuck boy. <laughs> Poor fuck boy. <laughs> I'm dead. Rest in peace. I'm so dead. Hey, Jay, I dare you to marry me. <laughs> okay. I was joking. Joking, don't bury me for reals. I'm alive. I'm getting hungry. Eat the dog. Eat him. Look at him. Oops. Pick the per- Oh, it's my turn now, apparently? Um. Let's confess to boss. Hmm. Boss. I'll pick dare. Can you lift me with just your non-mechanical arm? Alright, you can, you can! Please put me down! Well then, there you go. Truth or dare? Can I really pick? Let's go with dare. Alright then, please cross your arms. Alright. Turn a bit to the left. I mean, my left. Oh. Stand still for a second. Boss, is that a picture? That it is. Nope, not even the same race. Sorry for the trouble. Excuse me? You're comparing me to a bit? Wait, how would you not notice the race thing? Can I at least see it? No. Fine. A bell? We successfully had nobody pick Dorothy. I consider that a success. Let's go. You guys go ahead. I'll have a quick smoke outside. Careful. Why would you have to be careful? Just don't smoke the reverse end with your eye hole. I guess, I guess you have to be careful of that. That would be dangerous. Truth or dare, huh? It was fun, I guess. Hey. Uh, I mean, hello. But late for the whole hour, I think. Want one? You know I don't smoke. True. You leaving already? Yeah, I talked to you celebrated Mega Christmas yesterday. But I got a message that Dana is making a ruckus, so I gotta leave. Yeah, I don't know how many families do it, but my family, we usually just do the Christmas Eve thing. My grandparents do the Christmas thing, so we do... It's like a two-day affair. I think that's pretty common. Anyway, good luck with that. Speaking of raucous, how have you been doing? Fine, I guess. All this is to help my, get off my mind off. Get things off my mind for a while. <sighs> is it weird to feel like the absence of somebody you had no contact with whatsoever for the last three years? Ask cuts. Kat Yusha, or any of the old literature maidens whose spouse went to war times. I mean, even if you had no contact with her, maybe she was constantly on your mind. If you tweak the circumstance, it's not that different from when you going to a war. I guess. Well, although, the circumstances make me want, want to go. I've got to go. Careful out there. Oh yeah. You didn't even get food! Why did you even come? Oh yeah. You should take the chance and spend this time with everyone else, don't you think? Yeah. Right. Hey, Jill's back. What is this? Horrible exploded moon? What am I seeing here? What the hell? What is this? Am I supposed to click? What is this? Clicking doesn't do anything. What? What is this? Oh, okay. Is that the moon? 
What did we do to the moon? Why is four here? What happened to the party? I'm so confused. Also, my boobs got smaller. Chapter 3, Dulce. I have the most inconsistent boobs ever. And that that is the face I would make if I noticed that I had the most inconsistent boobs ever. I, I didn't even get to enjoy the party? What? I, I'm so confused. I, no, I don't get to enjoy the party. Time to mix drinks and change lives, I guess. Rent is due on the 30th. Please make sure... Wait, third, what? What? I have four days to make $6,000? Okay. I'm dead. I've been using that hoodie a lot. <laughs> Shut up. Creepy. What? What? Well, I'm doomed, so that's nice. Well, wait, what day is it? Day 14. So there's supposed to be a guest, I think, on today. Model Warrior returns to TV. Anyone watching it? I don't even have a TV. So useless. Julianne is old and busted. I heard you like talking shit about my waifu and I would like I wouldn't find out. Is it gonna be censored? I don't think so. The show is rather tame as far as I know. I'm gonna marry Julianne! Oh man, I remember watching the show back when I was like 10. I think I, I, think I discovered porn thanks to it. You will never discover Rule 34 for the first time again. Why keep trying? Never seen the show before. Is it any good or just a meme? It's a meme show, there's nothing outstanding. What about the sequels? Are they supposed to be broadcast as well? The sequels are shit. This thread's closed. Is your lip trembling? No. <laughs> Grand Slam Fighters. Alright, we already read that one. Let's read the meme paper. Glitch City Olympics. I guess tacky body suits sports practical sports. Ah, uh, good old Olympics. Sportsmanship. Drug use. Humanitarian disasters. Massive money spent for nothing. They're great. They're just, they're just great. Especially this year. I swear the Olympics get worse every single year lately. It's pretty impressive, considering, yeah. Whew. Anyway. For the 10th consecutive year, the GC Olympics returns to the emblematic silver, Super Silver Dome. Thunderdome. This time with a representative from the elusive country of Kanye Vania. Subtle. Prime Minister Quincy, or Quincy, who is in charge of the committee, I hate the scan lines with this font, told the augmented eye that it wasn't easy getting, uh, why does it not affect the other fonts? Like, you can barely see it here. Uh, whatever. It wasn't easy getting in touch with Khan Jay, and that we've had to abide with some of his religious <laughs> rules in order to see some of the best competitors come to the country. Kanye Vania's religion, Kanyeism, prohibits the existence of nanomachines. Nanomachines! And as such, competitors from said country are perform specific treatments in order to repel the swarm. It's a temporary solution, but it'll do the trick. Oh, we got some clickbait. Delicious. Gotta click it. You won't believe what happens in this cartoon. Cartoons are not for children. They're still largely colorful, but the themes they touch have dark have become rather dark. In fact, every cartoon on air today has dark themes. It's come to the point where innocent animated characters are no longer a thing. I suppose children are young adults from birth now? But enter Touch Fluffy. Oh my god. <sighs> enter Touch Fluffy Tale, a new show that aims to challenge the current trend. No deep lore, no obscure adult references. I, I doubt this. No stupid deep plots. Just fun with numbers and fluffy tales, said the TFT producer. Who has to remain anonymous to avoid internet backlash. I don't want death threats for making a cartoon for actual kids. Why why this meme for kids? Do you why? Why would you do this? That's a meme from some monster girl sex game. Street race at Motor City District leaves two dead. That's why I don't street race. 
Motor City District is notorious for the number of illegal street races it sees every week. And dozens of injured drivers leaves every year. Oh wait, I forgot to read the thingy. Stop. I rescued you. I touch your tail if I wanna. Um, Motor City District. Yeah, we already read this. I've heard there's a defamation campaign against the district, though. I think killing people will cause that. This time has been reported that two people died during a ho host raid at the Gate Highway, other known as Death Lane. Transit police have been investigating the deaths as well as the underground nature of illegal street racing. There are several suspects in regards to who is ruling this underworld, but none concrete as of yet. Chief of the Transit Police, we have Transit Police now, Jay Esposito told the Augmented Eye, the death of those two youngsters will be the last, however. That's a promise. Seems unlikely, but whatever. I guess I don't really need to save just after reading stuff. So yeah, let's tune in next time for when I horribly fail at getting money to live. Hooray.